Hello friends, welcome back to Forces on an Inclined Plane. And uh, in the last class we learned about the equation. This equation f net equal to f applied plus minus force of friction minus mg sine theta. Now we're going to apply this equation to some real life examples. So I'm going to take an example over here in which this is a box which is placed on an inclined plane. And let's say this angle given to us is 30 degrees and then the force applied in the upward direction here it is force applied is given to me which is which is 500 newtons and mass is given to me 20 gauges gravitational force i'm going to assume is 10 meters per second square just to make my calculations easy and the coefficient of friction is given to me 0 0.5 so one of the things uh, uh, so we've uh, we've said in the last class that if we are given with the coefficient of friction or we are asked to find the coefficient of friction then the force of friction equation will be a force of friction equal to mu mg cos theta and this can also be called as force of friction max and now let's uh, and what is being asked to uh, asked us to find out we are asked to find the acceleration value so let's apply this equation now uh, so f net f net equal to m a equal to force applied force applied is 500 newtons which is in the upward direction so i'm going to keep it as positive and then plus minus shall i consider the force of friction downwards because the force applied is in the upward direction and we are asked to find the acceleration so it means the object is moving in the upward direction and uh, uh, we will consider this this force of friction will act in which direction in the downward direction so the force of friction i'll consider the sign as not the positive one this time around i'll consider it as negative and because coefficient of friction is given to me i'll feed in the value of coefficient of friction which is 0 0.5 times uh, mass value is 20 times 10 times cos of 30 degrees and then uh, the next value will be minus mg so mass value again is 20 times g value is 10 times sine of 30 degrees that's the equation now i'm going to file in the values 500 minus so cos 30 so cos 30 times 20 times 10 times 0 0.5 that gives me 86 this value is 86.6 minus 20 times 10 times sine of 30 which comes out to be 100 this is negative 100 this value is always negative remember this thing guys uh, so this is 500 and one more thing because i've already assumed the direction here so i don't put this value as negative do not make a mistake of putting this as a negative that will be wrong okay so again repeating this value this g value now you won't consider it as negative 9.81 or negative 10 because i've already considered the direction depending upon in which direction the object is moving whether it's moving up or down so that will decide uh, whether this value is positive or negative g value we will consider as 9.81 or 10 remember this thing so 500 uh, and then 100 plus 86.6 because both are negative so 500 minus answer that's going to give me e so this is 186.6 so the ma value will come out to be uh 313.4 ma and mass value i'm going to write it here now so m mass value is 20 times acceleration equal to 313.4 so acceleration value will come out to be divided by 20 which will come out to be 15 15.67 meters per second square so that's how we're gonna solve these questions so let's look into one more problem uh, so this is the next problem find the angle at which the object just slides uh, just start sliding downward because of its sulfate that's what i wanted to find this angle theta so at which the object will start sliding downward so i'm going to write down the same equation f net equal to f applied plus minus force of friction minus mg sine theta and uh, we are asked to find the angle now uh, and we're gonna also take uh, one more thing the coefficient of friction because the data is not complete i'm gonna 
complete the data our coefficient of friction is 0.5 we assume that this is the coefficient of friction value given to us uh, so force applied is equal to this is there any force it so because of its self weight it the question says the object starts sliding downwards because of self weight so it means force applied is zero so i will put this value zero and the coefficient of friction is given to me which is 0 0.5 and uh, the formula will change to force of friction formula force of friction will be mg cos theta now so mass is 10 times i'm gonna assume the g value is 10 times sine of theta oh not cosine here yeah so this is cosine of theta minus uh, m value is 10 times 10 times sine of theta and uh, Another thing, important thing is it is given to me, the object starts sliding downward. When it says starts sliding downwards, we can assume then that that acceleration is zero. Just start sliding downwards, acceleration is zero. Moving with the constant velocity, again, acceleration is zero. So this value will be zero. Uh, so uh, this value, uh, now I can solve this equation. Uh, this can be written as, 10 times times 100, 100 times 5.5 is 50. I will write it as, now, one thing which I forgot to talk about, whether this this will be positive or negative. So because the objects just sl start sliding downward, the force of friction, force of friction will be upwards. This will be force of friction. So force of friction value will be positive. I will drop this sign. Negative sign will be dropped. So now, uh, let's, uh, uh, we will keep the positive sign and let's solve this question. So I wanted to erase this. So this is 100 times 0.5 is 50 cos of cos of theta and this is minus 100 sine of theta. And then uh, this will go on the other side. I can take this value on the other side, this value on this side. So this will be 100 sine theta equal to 50 cos theta. You can take this value also. That's not going to change the answer. So now uh, I can bring the constants one side and the trigonometric ratios on the one side. So I will divide this by 50 and uh, this will be a 2 sine theta equal to cos theta dividing both sides. So I can say use uh, you know i wanted to br bring the tangent theta into picture so i will divide this with cos theta and this with cos theta so that's going to give me if i divide these two that's going to give me one two uh, sine theta this is one more thing you can put it in your armory that sine theta divided by cosine theta is always tangent theta so you can look into the math notes you will find it over there this is tangent theta so i can i'm running out of the space here so i'm gonna erase this so this is i'm gonna write it as tangent theta equal to one divided by two so theta equal to tangent inverse 0.5 so i'm gonna solve this question second function tangent inverse 0.5 which gives me 26 26.6 26 degrees so if the angle the uh, the angle will be this angle will be 26.6 degrees at which the object will start sliding in the downward direction because of its self weight and if the mass is 10 kgs for the object now let's look into the some key concepts from the lecture what we've done uh, to up to now uh, so if the object is sliding downwards or start sliding downwards what we're gonna uh, because of its sulfate we can say that force applied will be equal to zero because it's going downwards uh, uh, because of the self weight uh, and then uh, second thing is f net and it starts sliding downward f net value will be equal to zero moving up the hill with the constant velocity or down the hill with the constant velocity then we will say f net still f net will be equal to zero why because m a is mass times acceleration moving with the constant velocity means acceleration equal to zero so net force will be equal to zero hopefully you were able to understand forces on an inclined plane i'll see you with another video have a good day bye now